a point A is located on the rim of a wheel of radius R is equal to 0 0.50 meter which rolls without slipping along a horizontal surface with velocity v is equal to 1 meter per second. Find the modulus and the direction of the acceleration vector of the point A and the total distance s traversed by the point A between the two successive moments at which it touches the surface. So let's first sketch the given situation let this is the horizontal ground and let this is the wheel clear let this is point A initially it is touching the ground and it is rolling without slipping and it is moving with velocity V so that is the velocity of the center of mass and it is moving with this angular speed say omega means it will move towards right and this point A will be here after some time this is point A and after some time this point is here after some time this point will be here and finally the point A again touches the ground so if we join all these points so the path which this point A follows is somewhat like this so this is the path that is followed by point A clear and we have to find in the B part we have to find this total path length that he is calling S so we have to find this path length here in part B now as this wheel is rolling without slipping in this direction clear and we have to find the modulus and the direction of acceleration vector of point A so at these different points let at any instant of time let this is the position of this point A so at any instant of time let point A is here this is the radius of the wheel and let at that instant this angle is theta it is moving towards right this is the velocity of center of mass and it is equal to r omega clear omega is the angular speed clear now the acceleration of point a this point a at any instant is given by this result the net acceleration of point a it is the vector sum of three accelerations here in such situations this is the acceleration of center of mass plus the radial acceleration plus the tangential acceleration so at any instant of time the net acceleration of any point is equal to the vector sum of all these three accelerations now if you observe carefully here here we are given with pure rolling pure rolling so in pure rolling we have the condition v is equal to r omega v is constant and hence omega is constant now when v is constant this means acceleration of center of mass is zero and as omega is constant means angular acceleration is zero so tangential acceleration is also zero so from this equation we have this part zero we have this part zero and we know that the radial acceleration magnitude is equal to v square by r clear so we can write the magnitude of the acceleration of point a equal to v square by r and as this acceleration is the radial acceleration so the direction of this acceleration is towards the center of the circle 
circle means the center of the wheel and v is given 1 meter per second so it's square divided by the value of radius that is 0.5 meter so it is 2 meter per second square so that is the magnitude of acceleration of point A at any instant of time clear now in order to answer the part B where we have to find the path length of this point A this red line we have to find the total length of this path so for this we need the total velocity of point A total velocity or net velocity of point A clear and the net velocity of point A can be written as the vector sum of the velocity of the center of mass plus the velocity that is the tangential velocity now this tangential velocity will be in this direction this is vt and the velocity of center of mass is this this one so if this angle is theta if this angle is theta so angle between this and this velocity vector is 180 degree minus theta so this is the angle between vc and vt clear now as it is under pure rolling so vc and vt have same magnitude that is equal to r omega clear so if we write the magnitude of va magnitude of va so we can write this as let this is equal to v suppose so we can write v square plus v square plus 2 v square cos of 180 degree minus theta clear so from here we can write this as equal to 2 v sine theta by 2 or you can write 2 v sine omega t by 2 clear now we can write this v a as d s by d t and this is equal to 2 v sine of omega t by 2 or you can write d s is equal to 2 v sine omega t by 2 into d t and if we integrate it on both sides it is from 0 to s and the time interval is from 0 to time time needed for one complete revolution of this wheel so this is equal to 2 pi by omega and if you solve this integral finally you will get s is equal to 8 r and here r is given 0.5 so our answer is 4 meters so this is our answer to part b